All right, everyone. So um, what we've got here is a, uh, an example in which we're sending data from P5.js to our microcontroller. In this particular case, I'm going to, when I click and drag my mouse across a gradient inside of my P5 sketch, I'm going to change the brightness of this LED on my board. Uh, in the illustration that I've got here, I've got the LED attached to pin two through a 220 ohm resistor. Uh, in my circuit and in my sketch, I needed to move it to uh, pin three just because there's something damaged on my pin two. Um, so uh, you can use either one of these. Remember, it's any sort of analog output pin uh, will work for this. Um, so uh, follow along as you like. So uh, pretty straightforward circuit. The code is uh, pretty straightforward too. We're going to introduce one new command here. So I've got uh, a variable to hold the LED right here. So it's on pin three. I start up serial communication at 9600 baud. I turn the LED pin as an output. And then inside of the loop, I've got a local variable called brightness, and that's going to store the information that we get from P5.js into our uh, sketch. Down here, this loop right here checks to see if there's anything inside of the serial buffer on the Arduino side. And then if so, it reads the information and then writes that out to the pin. So this first command right here, serial.available, is checking to see, is there something inside of the serial buffer uh, on the microcontroller? So it's saying, are there, is there more than zero bytes in there? And if you've sent something from processing, then yes, there will be. Uh, if there is something inside of there, then we do this other command called serial.read. And what that does is that reads the oldest byte out of the serial buffer that it possibly can. Um, and it'll just read one. It won't read everything in there. It'll just read the oldest byte. And then it'll store it inside of this variable right here called brightness, which we then use to set the value of the LED. So I'm going to uh, open up the uh, P5 serial control application. And it'll just sort of like be there. We don't need to do anything with it as usual. And in the P5 sketch, I've got uh, you know the same type of thing that we had before, where I'm pulling the files down, the libraries down from a CDN. In this uh, P5 sketch, we've got these variables up here, um, the serial for uh, holding the serial uh, library, the Brightness right here. This is a variable that we'll use to determine just how bright the LED is going to be. This is the data that we're actually going to send back to the Arduino sketch. And then I've got these two uh, uh, variables right here called dark and light. Um, those are going to hold the color. I'm going to draw a gradient. So the, uh, the dark parts are going to be where the LED is dimmer, and the light parts are where the LED is going to be brighter. I've got a canvas here that's 512 by 512. I'm doing this because that maps really nicely to 255, 0 to 255, which are the values that the LED can have when we're doing an analog out or an analog write. Uh, so here I'm defining the colors. So dark is black, and then light is um, uh, kind of like an orangish yellow. Um, I'm borrowing these from uh, this sketch from Casey Rios. Um, so uh, the we've got the serial constructor right here, just as we saw in those previous sketches. And then all I'm doing here is I just have this one thing to open the serial port. I'm not reading any data from the microcontroller. I'm not concerned about any of these other uh, callbacks that we had before. Uh, this is the only thing that we need. We're just opening stuff, and then we're just blasting data out to the microcontroller. Uh, this draw gradient function right here is what's going to draw the gradient. Um, so uh, essentially what it's doing is it's looping through this the, the canvas um, on the y-axis 
uh, and then interpolating between those two colors, the light and dark. Um, so I'm going to have that drawn every time I come into my draw loop. Uh, so I've got that instead of like a solid background color. Um, and then I'm have a little circle that's going to surround the mouse. So uh, I know where it is uh, in, in, in the context of the sketch because some areas are darker than others. Uh, and the time, the only time that I'm actually going to send data here is when I'm clicking and dragging the mouse. So as I mouse around, it's not going to send anything. If I just click and don't move the mouse, it won't do anything. I need to actively click and drag the mouse. So uh, there's a built-in function in P5.js called mouse dragged, which is uh, convenient for us. Uh, so this gets called every time you do a click and drag the mouse. So here I've got, uh, I'm setting the uh, variable bright to, I'm taking the mouse Y position. Uh, so that's on uh, the Y axis inside of the sketch. And I'm basically mapping that value from between 0 and 512 to 0 and 255. Uh, and I'm using this floor right here because map because it's JavaScript, and so it just treats everything as floats um, when you're working with numbers. And so this floor will basically round down, so we get a whole number, uh, because the microcontroller won't work with floats. We're just sending one byte uh, at a time. And then this constrain function right here is just making sure that it sticks between 0 and 255. Uh, P5.js, if I move my cursor outside of the sketch, uh, either up or down or left or right, it'll still keep on, it'll, it'll, it'll say, oh, you're still, uh, you know, your, your cursor's moved outside of the canvas, but it's still being tracked. And so we would wind up getting negative numbers. We get numbers over 255. And so this just keeps it within this particular range. And then the way that we actually send the data is we say serial dot write, and then we say the value that we want to send. And so uh, it's, by default, only going to send a, a, a byte, so that's a value between 0 to 55, it's an 8-bit number, uh, which maps really nicely to the analog output on our microcontroller. So uh, I'm going to run this, and you'll see over here, uh, this is uh, the sketch. It's dark at the top. It's light at the bottom. And if I, uh, I'm going to move my mouse up here. And I'm going to click, and I'm going to drag, and you can see the LED getting brighter and brighter and brighter, uh, and it's like really overwhelming the camera. If I uh, bring it back to say like down here, and I let go, and then I move the mouse around, it's not changing its brightness because it's only sending the data. Uh, it's only using calling that serial dot write when we're inside of mouse drag. So if I click here and change it, it'll start out bright because I'm somewhere else, and then bring it back down here to off or very low. In the camera, it looks incredibly bright. Uh, it, in reality, it's um, less bright. I think if I turn it this way, you'll see it's probably a little bit better, uh, just so it doesn't overwhelm the camera. Uh, here, I can click and drag. There we go. So this is how you send uh, data from P5.js to, uh, to an Arduino. Uh, the next uh, and final uh, video that I make is going to be sending multiple bits of information from the microcontroller to a P5.js sketch.